Hi, and welcome to my video on adding form attachment in Power Automate Approval. Let's go through a use case scenario called rate concession. This process of flow allows an employee to request for rate concession for a customer from his or her own manager, and it becomes simplified by adding supporting document. How does the flow work? Employee fills a Microsoft form to apply for rate concession for a customer. Manager re receives approval request via email. Manager reviews the submission alongside the supporting document and approval reject. And the employee gets feedback from the manager. We're going to do this by making use of three major applications. Microsoft Forms as a tool, Power Automate, and Office 365 Outlook. So let's let's get into work. I will log into my Office 365, which I've done, and create the Microsoft form, which I have here just a simple form, customer name, customer number, and upload supporting document option. Right now, I will navigate to Power Automate, where I will create my automated flow. It is going to be an automated flow because I want it to be triggered anytime someone fills the approval form. When you fill the rate concession form, then the flow should be triggered. That's why we have the automated cloud flow. So I click on it and I'm going to name it rate concession. So you're going to the rate concession and what should be the trigger? The trigger will be this when a new response is submitted i'll create if this is your first of i mean building this using power automate and you are connecting with microsoft form it's going to take a few seconds to sign into your microsoft form account and then synchronize for you to easily retrieve your form so the first step here is asking me which form do i want to you know, do i want to use as a trigger which is rate concession request and the next thing is to get the form response. Also about the person is I want to get response details. Get response details. You're going to see that Microsoft Forms get response details. Form ID, which form do you want to get response from? It's still the rate concession form. And what is the ID? I mean, whose response should I collect? That is the ID of the person that gets the form, the flow triggered. So with what we have now, we're then going to I have the responses, but I don't have the attachment collected. So what I want to do next is to create a JSON object, pass JSON. This will allow me to strip every information around the upload document question so that I can single out the content itself. So under content, I'm going to use upload supported document. And for schema, um, I, I'm going to share this with you. I have flow attachment JSON schema, which you need to use. It is out there and it's free. So I'm going to share the link. Uh, I will copy this and come here and paste. And we're good to go. The next step here is to get file content. Get file content. from Office Street, uh, OneDrive for Business. So that's where the uh, uploaded document gets saved or stored when you fill the form. So now I'm going to click on Get File Content and feed in. It's asking for the ID. I'm going to use the ID from the JSON, past JSON object. This will go to the OneDrive folder and retrieve that document. The next thing to do here is to create my approval flow. Start and wait for approval. Start and wait for an approval. What's the type? It's going to be first to respond, approval reject. I want the manager to be able to approve all the checks and first to respond. Then title, um, rates concession for, I need to put the customer name and that leads me back to the customer name option yeah. who am i assigning that to i'm going to assign it to Ola Charles 
that's my account it's just going through at capacity ng and what's the details I'm just going to add please find attach the rate concession memo for I'm just going to put the customer name because I need the customer name the customer name all right regards how about the supporting document that has been attached so I'm going to click on this show advanced option you can see attachment content which is the file content from the get file content when I come to attachment name I'm going to also get that from the name here all right so that is fine and I can save so as it is our flow is set often time is advised that you use the flow checker to see if there's any warning or any error you are making on your flow for now there's none I'm then going to go to the form click on the share and copy so right now I have another account which is what I have here from Adele and she is going to be filling this form as an employee of capacity Nigeria so for customer name we are requesting for John brain and the customer number three four five seven two eight six so now to upload supporting document which should be PDF so I'm going to use evidence of payment so the evidence of payment gets uploaded and I'm going to click on submit when I click on submit and I go to my email here my outlook I'm going to get a request from Adele based on what has been submitted but the flow will be triggered so waiting for that alternatively you can also you know have it in a Microsoft flow rate concession for John Bray rate concession for John Bray I have the attachment and the details where I can then approve or reject and let's open and just see so you have the opportunity to view what you have there so this is just a sample document that I have sample evidence of payment was draft and that way it makes it easier for your manager to make decision you know from your for your request uh, uh, whenever you know he or she receives it so I can say approve um, noted Noted. Approved. And I click on submit. So right there, I have action on it. You can see that there are so many reasons and advantage for you to learn how to add attachment when you are sending a request for approval because having a supporting document can help you a lot. You know, getting your manager or whoever you are requesting the approval from convinced or providing that person with enough information to make the decision thank you